Hello and welcome, I'm Christy. Today I'm gonna to do a keto intermittent fasting grocery haul from Aldi. I'll also be sharing my meal plan this week for you. I like to keep it simple. Simple keeps me doing keto. So we'll take a peek in the fridge so I can show you guys what I have left. That way you'll understand why my budget is so low. I'm gonna stick with under 50 bucks at Aldi. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks, and I will have other keto videos listed everywhere in the cards down below. And I'll also have in the cards up here how I lost 16 pounds in my first two weeks of intermittent fasting and keto, if you want to check that out. Okay, how about a really quick peek in the fridge? Remember, it is Monday, and we just got home from spring break in D.C. with Chris. So I have very little in here. I do have enough guac left to last the week, I think, because I brought some home from vacation and I like to, you know, have guac to add fats. I still have some of these left. I haven't showed these. These are just keto muffins and I pureed like some strawberries and put them in there and some swerve. So if we're in need of something sweet desperately, we'll reach for those. Looks like I'm gonna need butter. I am stocked on cheese, I'm pretty sure, because, you know, I've got this big tray that I brought back with me and where we weren't here to eat on all of this. During the week, I still have it. I only have two pieces of the block cheese left. As far as meats go, I got bacon and that's it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be needing some of that. Still have some fruits and veggies left. Um, I'm gonna need some zucchini because we're gonna do zucchini bites one night. Kerrigan wants jalapeno, jalapeno popper casserole one night and it looks like those are gone bad. And as far as fruits for the girls go, or Riley, I have apples, oranges, some blueberries, kiwi. And in the freezer, I do have some shrimp left. I think I have two pieces of this from Aldi, so I may be picking up more have some chorizo. I do have some veggies left. We have some asparagus. Um, what else? Some Brussels sprouts. I do have one keto um, pizza dough left. Kara will probably eat that one day this week. Some sausage. I have a mahi mahi burger left. I just need to pick up some staples from Aldi. Aldi. Just cannot say that right. And then here's Briley's snack drawer. She's got sodas in here. I don't do those often, but she does have some in here because she was sick last week. So I like to keep some on hand for when she needs them. So the first thing I want to show you guys is my receipt. This is my Aldi haul from today. And my total was $39.07. It was actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. So here's the items that I got. I'll go over those really quick with you all. I picked up two cartons of the eggs because they were so cheap this week. I think they were like 73 cents or something like that. So we're on our last uh, dozen of eggs. Riley loves boiled eggs and I like fried eggs, easy keto meal. I did pick up one of the chicken bone broths in the organic. I've never got this before, but I wanted to use it um, in a recipe that I have. I picked up uh, just a few meats this time. I picked up a large tray of the ground beef. This is the 80-20. I get it because it has a little bit more fat in it and I want my fat content to be high. I got the big tray so that I can half it up. We're gonna do like taco salads one night and I think I'm gonna do meatballs another night. I picked up a huge pack of the chicken thighs and this is with the skin and bone in. What I do with this is I'll put this in the crock pot and I'll let it cook all day till the meat just starts falling off. When it's done, I'll just pull the meat off, put it in a big uh, bowl and have it shredded. And then as Kerrigan wants it or as I want it, we'll just make a chicken salad. Kerrigan could eat this for lunch every single day. She loves chicken salad. All I put in it is um, sliced up kosher pickle and mayonnaise, and she loves that. I picked up some pepperonis, not turkey, just the original because they do have a higher fat content, and that's what I'm going for on keto. 
And then I found some pork sausage. Where are we going? There you go. And this one is the Appleton Farms. And in the ingredients on this, it had no sugar. There you go. On the ingredients, we have no sugar. And what I'm going to do with this is make, I will just brown the sausage and put in some cheese, some heavy whipping cream, and some eggs. And I'll put those in um, little muffin tins. And I'll have those so they're an easy go-to breakfast or lunch. And those are a huge hit. Cheeses! My cheeses this time were in the form of cream cheese and sour cream. So I only picked up a tub of sour cream for our tacos and the cream cheeses. One of them is going to be for the jalapeno popper casserole that I have one night that Kerrigan wants. And then I picked up one stick or, you know, one of the eight ounce packages of Kerrygold butter. Riley and Kerrigan both love these little mini cucumbers. So every time they have them and they're super cheap like they are at Aldi, I go ahead and pick them up because you can see there's quite a few in here and the girls love them. Picked up the jalapenos for the jalapeno popper casserole. These are just, just dirt cheap. It's shocking. Picked up a huge bag of avocados, good fats for um, keto. And you know, I've loved avocados God, for years. So I eat them all the time. Picked up two things of steamed broccoli, and I'll probably just add some cheese to those or seasonings. Picked up this zucchini. I got bigger ones than I normally do. You can tell these are huge. But what I'm going to do with them is make um, zucchini pepperoni pizza bites. And so I like them a little larger so that um, when they're on the tray, they're about that big. And they brown them up. I'll flip them, put all this stuff on them. And then when they come out, they're about the size of a bagel bite. And I think the last two things are Briley's. She has a lunch that she'll have to take, I think, two or three times this week. So she will only eat white bread. She's my 10-year-old, and she's stubborn. I've even tried white wheat, and she knows the difference, guys. So I'm trying to break her slowly. And one of her other favorite snacks is another thing that's not that great for you, and it's the oyster crackers. So I just picked up these two little things for her, but this is my Aldi grocery haul. And here comes meanness, I think. Quincy, where you at? What are you barking at? Come here. What are you barking at? Are you barking at Sissy? Are you barking at your Sissy? Huh? Are you barking at Sissy? And there they go. Don't be mean to Sissy. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. Uh oh. Oh. Can you hear Mira? She's like growling. She's not going to take it from him today. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Uh, she could throw him around like a rag doll. Uh, you know, I have no doubt. But he keeps going back for more. Okay, so this is my meal plan for the 1st through the 7th of April. And you guys know that I like easy keto. That's the main thing for me to, for me to stick with something. I don't want to be in the kitchen constantly. So the less amount I'm in the kitchen, actually the happier I am. So... This one is really simple and Kerrigan likes it. So does Briley. It's just zucchini pepperoni pizza bites. So I just slice like little quarters or silver dollars of the zucchinis and I put those in the oven. Then we'll add our sauce, our pepperonis and our cheese. And they're like little bagel bites, but it gives you that feeling of getting pizza without crust. And I really like these. These are on Pinterest. Any of these recipes, or not recipes, but any of these things that I make, I usually put on Instagram pictures of. So if you want to see what they look like, make sure you follow me there. My name is in the description box below. So on Tuesday, Kerrigan has already asked for chicken jalapeno popper casserole this week. And so I will oblige. I'll do that on Tuesday. That way I can carry the leftovers over into Wednesday because Wednesday is our crazy days in this house. We have so much running to do, lots going on. Briley has gymnastics, so it's just 
lots of running around and I don't have time for dinner on that night. So I try to cook something bigger on Tuesday so we can have leftovers on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we're having low carb taco salads, which means no taco shells or burritos or anything like that. We'll just get a big bowl and we'll fill it full of romaine lettuce. Then I'll put my taco meat on top. I season that myself instead of buying the packages. We'll add sour cream, cheese, um, fresh salsa, guacamole, and this is absolutely delicious. It's turned into a staple around here because everybody will eat it. Then on Friday, that means I'll have a big batch of this. We'll have leftovers for Friday. Saturday we have plans um, so we won't be home and I won't need to cook so we're going to be out most of that day and then on Sunday I'm going to make Italian meatballs and I'll have Parmesan cheese in those and I'm going to roast some asparagus and put some Italian seasonings on it so that is Sunday's meal that's a quick glance at my keto meal plan for the week Again, I don't add vegetables into these things most of the time. I just show you my main course and then as I need a vegetable, I'll just pull it out of the freezer or out of our veggie drawer, but this is just our main components for the week. Okay guys, that's all I have for this keto video. Make sure you subscribe because I want to have you as a member of my YouTube family. And if you're on the keto journey with me, comment below. I'd love to be able to chat with you. You know, I'm new to this too. This is only the beginning of my fourth week. So any tips and tricks that we can share with each other would be great. I'll see you next time. Bye.